Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it seems DJ, I have actually launched a firmware update relating to the Air 2S. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and what is exactly included in this update. So let's get into it. So by far the easiest way to update the firmware on the Air 2S is through the DJI Fly app. So what you're going to need to do is turn on your controller, all right, as you can see there. We've turned on our DJI Air 2S and we have the DJI Fly app open. Now when you open up the Fly app, you're going to see this message, new DJI Air 2S firmware available. So let's quickly click that and let's just have a look at some of the features which are apparently new. So the first one is added trim download to DJI Fly. Somebody may, may have to correct me if I'm wrong on this one. I'm fully confident and sure that that was on the last firmware update. So, um, so I'm slightly confused by that one. But again, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain it was on that last one. Anyway, we now have the added ability to synchronize HD photos. That is an absolute huge bonus. And the reason for that is very simply because... This has been a prominent feature, especially on the, the DJI Mini 2. And what effectively happens is it is an option you can switch on or off. Now, what's quite interesting is when it comes to syncing the HD photos, if you have got your DJI Air 2S up in the air and you want to quickly share it to social media, the trouble is that you actually can. Whereas now with this option to sync a HD photo, what it will do is it will put a a HD version of the photograph you've just taken into your phone's gallery, then you can easily share it to social media, share it to friends, family, or whatever, whatever the hell you want to do with it. But that is a full version on your device. So that's nice and simple. And then we now have extended time before battery enters auto discharge after being idle from five to nine days. So what does it mean about being idle then? Well, effectively what that basically means is when you do have this battery in use, LiPo batteries are very difficult to store and they can swell if not stored correctly. Now, many, many people don't like this feature regarding the auto discharge purely because I've been caught out many, many times using this where I've gone out to fly and my battery is discharged at 60% and I don't have the battery power that I wanted, meaning it's cutting my filming time short. So if we quickly look, you can see Okay, that is also down to on its third light. Effectively, it means it is already discharged by a quarter because that hasn't been used for over five days. But ultimately, the self-discharge option is a built-in intelligent battery feature and it prolongs the life and stops these things swelling. Okay, LiPo batteries don't like to be stored at full and they don't like to be stored empty. So this is a pre-built-in thing. But obviously, as you can see, the initial phase was five days and that has now been sort of extended to nine days before this battery will start to discharge now i do appreciate that these things don't like to be stored at full charge and um, so many of you might have some concerns regarding you know that extension before these actually start to discharge but i can only think that dji will actually of built in that margin and they must be comfortable with this not discharging until day nine to enable to update this firmware um, on the batteries. So that's quite interesting, really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click update. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously download the uh, download the file. So I'll just quickly cut this to the end because you don't need to see all of this. So as you can see, we've got some yellow flashing lights, basically meaning that the uh, firmware is updating on the drone, but we're not quite there yet. So again, I'll just skip to the end. Right, so that's now fully installed. So let's click the X button and we're gonna click go fly. And we'll click the three buttons in the top corner and we'll scroll across the camera and we'll just scroll down. Now, as you can see, that auto sync HD photos is now on. That is how you update the firmware on the DJI Air 2S and what exactly is included. So the trim download, I'm pretty sure was there previously, like I already mentioned. The auto sync HD photos is a new great feature, which should have been on this from the start. And we have covered the battery discharge. Just be 100% aware that because we are updating the battery firmware, you are going to need to update each battery 
inside the drone. Now, if you look at this little clip on screen, when you do swap the battery for a, a new battery, you can see that it will still prompt us to update the firmware, except because the main aircraft firmware has already been updated and it's just the batteries are updating, it starts at around 70% uh, completion. So we've just updated the battery firmware at that point, but just be aware that you do need to update all the batteries that you have for this to take effect. If you just do one, it's only gonna affect that one battery. So it's time to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy this video and found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and helps me and this video get discovered for many more people. If you did also find value on this channel, please do consider subscribing. Again, that's always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.